Hello, my name is Story Wilson. I am with RSW Solutions. I have a new product to show today. It is called the LR3 Activate Tool. It's designed for the Land Rover LR3 vehicle. Its specific job is to interact with the LR3 air suspension computer, read and clear the fault codes. Here is the device. It's similar form factor to my other devices. Uh, and similar in functionality, where it plugs into the OBD2 port on the vehicle, it automatically establishes communication with the air suspension computer, and then it will read and clear the fault codes automatically. Then you unplug the device, take it over to your uh, Windows PC or Macintosh, and plug in the USB port, and it turns into a USB flash drive. And on this USB flash drive is a text file containing all of the fault codes that were read from the vehicle. So let's go ahead and show you real quickly how it operates. Let's start the engine of the vehicle. Then we are going to simply plug this into the US, or excuse me, into the OBD2 port, and it will show you a series of LED signals. Here we go, real quick. And that's it. It's done. That slow blinking green means it's done. In case you missed it, we'll do it one more time. Unplug, plug it, back, plug it back in, you'll see a red-blue alternating, meaning communication. And then a slow blinking green. It's all done. The air suspension fault codes have been cleared and reset. And now we simply take it inside and look at the fault codes that are on the text file. So the next function of the LR3 Activate tool is when it interacts with the USB port on a Windows PC or Mac PC. And this is how you would read the fault codes off the device. Um, you take a USB uh, Type A to Mini Type B, very common USB plug, and you simply insert it into the LR3 Activate device. There's a different LED sequence. It's a quicker sequence, and it goes blue-green, alternating fast, and then uh, red-green, alternating quickly when the uh, USB enumeration process has been completed. And then we simply go over to our PC and open up the text file that has the fault codes on it. And again, it's as simple as plugging it in, and then sitting down and looking at the fault codes. I'll show you that next. All right, so here we are on our Windows desktop, and we're going to plug in the LR3 Activate tool to the USB port just as we did a second ago, and we're going to see what happens. All right, we get the Windows enumeration sound for the USB port, and we have the autoplay that pops up on flash drives. If this doesn't pop up, depending on your operating system, you'll simply have to go into the File Explorer and look at the new drive. We're going to click on that real quick and so here we are we have a new text file inside uh, our uh, computer group here it's the LR3 activate flash drive it's been mapped to E drive and here's the text file that holds the fault codes we open up the text file and here inside the text file you see just in plain English a listing of the fault codes so in addition to reading the fault codes, the LR3 Activate tool will also read the live sensor heights from each of the four corners of the vehicle. And you'll see the live sensor heights here reported. And then below that, you'll see the fault codes. In this case, I don't have any fault codes because my vehicle is in perfect working order. But if you had fault codes, they'd be listed there. The LR3 Activate tool also stores the three uh, sets of fault codes that have been read from this vehicle. So down here, there are two sets of previous fault codes that are read and read from the vehicle. And here is the current set of fault codes that have just been read from the vehicle from this most, most recent communication session. The next time you read a set of fault codes, these fault codes that are highlighted here will be bumped down to the second position. And when you read the fault codes another time, this, the fault code stored in the second position will be bumped down to the third, and so forth. So you have a running history of every time you uh, use the LR3 Activate device for the past three times. And that's how the device works. Hopefully it'll be useful to you. Again, uh, my name is Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. I am the owner, designer, and manufacturer of all of these tools. I do everything myself. 
So please see my website and send me an email if you have any questions. Thanks.